Hello and good morning. I am Whitney. I'm a studio commission artist and today I'm going to give you a little bit of tour and a little bit I'm going to talk a little bit about what I'm doing today and my process and how I get started on commissions and what I do and so let's get started. All right first of all I'll go over a few things. This is a board. This is a 19 by 23 inch board and what it what I do the reason I have that is because that's the size of the canvas that will go over the 16 by 20 stretcher boards perfectly like this so we're gonna do that and while I'm on the subject of this I also do use canvases that are already uh, already stretched and so that when I paint I don't push push the canvas in and loosen it I cut boards about like this size that will fit in here like this so that I can work on it and paint on it without pressing it in and stretching that so that keeps the canvas tight little side hit hint tips and tricks so that's that all right so here this is what i'm doing today i'm going to go over a little bit about the process of how i get started so i use roll canvas and this is i've already primed it and toned it and I roll, I cut, uh, rip it. I don't cut it, but you rip it to keep the squares even. And what what I did is I'll rip off uh, 20, 23 inches. This is 23 inches in, in width. And I will roll that up on a piece of PVC. So that when I get ready for the next commission, I'll, I can roll it out and measure out 19 inches, which will wrap around the 16 by 20 stretch boards that I have, which is a very common size. I like it. It's big enough to, to be big <laughs> and it's, it's small enough not to to be too, too crazy. But I do have some crazy ones over there that are huge that I'm working on. So I'll measure out 19 inches. Give it a little nick. And then rip it to size. So, and what I could do now, since this is the same size, I can tape this on the board like that and take it anywhere and paint it. But what I'm gonna do, show you now, is how do I get the border, which I need to get a pencil. And here's another good tip too, this felt, this is black felt, and this is really nice for, for, for painting on this because it, it's, uh, it soaks up the paint really good and dries real fast. And you can also paint on this like a canvas, which I've done, which is very interesting and fun to do. All right, BRV, going to get a pencil. Oh, here's one. Okay. Pencils all over the place. So, this is what I'll do to prepare the canvas. I'll get the front side of it, which this roll canvas comes gessoed. Supposedly three layers of gesso, but who knows. But I do, I paint another layer of gesso on it and seal it front and back. So, to protect it from moisture humidity and all that stuff. So I'll sand it, get it nice and smooth, 
This is the front side. And then I'll lay the stretcher boards on here and get it about even so that when I wrap it around, it'll be nice and even there and there. <clears throat> about right so what this is I'll give it a, a light mark this will be my window uh, borders so this is where our, the it starts to wrap so this will be the edges and this will be the painted surface right here okay so I'm gonna go a little bit further and show you more of the process of how I get started and how I lay out my design uh, what I have done is uh, I'll draw well, I'll show you that in a minute all right so first of all I'm gonna hang it up on the wall Uh, like this and this is the next commission and I had this projector This is a 3M 910 overhead projector. And what I'll do is plug that in. Okay, and preparation for the for the for it, I print out the um, the subject, which in this case is a home, which is my specialty, is what I do, and I print this out and use transparency, transparency, and put that over there and just mark. Mark all the landmarks, uh, basically where everything's going to go. At this point, i um, not worried about color, but I'm thinking about it as I'm doing it. So all that is good. So I'll turn this on and line up the transparency. I have the corners marked. I don't know if you can see. I have marked the corner right here. Corner, 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 corner. So I'll know the size of it. Like that. Adjust it, get it where I want it, and I can have this to bottom and top. I've got some room to play with. Um, what I'm basically interested in is lining it up, getting a good composition, and uh, say that looks pretty good. Tweak it a little bit. Right here. All right, 
I'm really happy with that. That looks really good. So at this point, I've got everything where I want it, and I'll go ahead and use my graphite pencil and start putting it on there. These are landmarks. This is a great way to get started. Also, I don't have it in here, but I can get a use a straight edge too on here. Make it nice and straight, and still go outside the border, but I know where the sixteen by twenty is. You can do this with any image, anything. These are hard to get though.
right, that's pretty much it. And when I feel like I've got enough, yeah, feel like I got enough landmarks to know basically where everything is, I can start focusing on the colors, the shapes, the forms, and uh, it gives me a, pretty much a good foundation, stress-free. I know where everything's gonna go, where everything's gonna be. And that is basically how I get the design onto the canvas. Okay. Now, one more thing, you gotta always remember. After that, spray it. Spray it down. I'll get all of the loose graphite so we don't get paint it in paint. So there you go. That's the process. Um, if any questions, I'll answer it after I post the video. And I hope you enjoyed it today. And I hope you maybe learned something or maybe it's just interesting to see the process, who knows, I know. So after that, I will paint it. Uh, it takes a couple of days, sometimes a week. And then I will get the paperwork up, which all of my, all of my art comes with Certificate of Authenticity, uh, art statement, my art biography, and a patron agreement, which means uh, you're not stuck with a painting. If you don't like it, you can always sell it back because I put the price on it that I would be willing to pay for it and enjoy it myself. So after that, I'll paint it and wrap it on the stretcher boards and staple it, staple it on, and I'll put eye hooks in here, and a hanger wire, stamp it, sign it, put all your information on the back, put all the paperwork in an envelope, and put it right here, so you, you know, anybody would know in the future, 100 years from now, who painted it, who they are, you know, where I came from, my background, what I do. And um, I don't sign the front of any of my paintings because, you know, I have several reasons. Um, one, I don't want it to be a part of the painting. I want to know, and a lot of the paintings that I'll do, the painting is my signature. But I have a unique style called Fin and Fin, which means finished, unfinished, but finished and complete because there's everything in it that you know need to know what it is. And it leaves room for feelings, emotions, the passion of it, uh, how, how I paint is my signature. So I hope that when, when you look at it, just look at it, you'll know, wow, that's a Whitney. He did that one because that's a unique style. Um, I don't like to paint realism. It's boring. You know, you can take a photo if you want to. I like to uh, use express, I like to express 
maybe it's kind of a, a cross between expressionism and impressionism and some realism because I do I want it to be as realistic as possible without losing the emotion of it the passion the feeling of it and I love to feel when I'm painting I feel like I'm in a fighter jet and it, there's just so much going on there's a lot to think about there's uh, thousands of hours of practice and, and study that, that goes into each one. Uh, there's a lot of color theory, atmospheric theories, perspective theories, uh, design composition, there's value. Uh, values and colors are di totally different things. All of, those, all of those things go into each one of my paintings and I'm an art major in college, so I've studied art my whole life. I draw, have drawn a lot of things, and I painted a lot. I studied watercolor for four years, studied oil, and I have basically decided that acrylic will be my medium of choice because I can incorporate oil and watercolor techniques, and it's water-based, it's completely safe. I use heavy body acrylic so that I can make transparent uh, washes and 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 opaque. Uh, I can go from dark to light and then light to dark at the same time and it, it, it occupies my brain and since I have I can think of a lot of things at the same time I'm able to use all of that and create wonderful paintings that uh, have more more of an emotional impact and that's my been my goal since college it's been my goal I don't I, I do that um, so there you go and what I'll do with these I have if I get Oh, here's another thing too. So I, I get uh, commercial commercial canvases, and sometimes I'll paint on that, leave it. It's kind of a practice thing, just for experience. But I'll take the canvas off and use the boards and paint them. Be sure if you do this, paint and seal the wood. So because the wood is exposed. The moisture it expand and contract over the years I know like 20 20 or 30 years it's fine but after that it will start it's just natural and you never know where it's gonna be if it's in storage uh, the number one thing that affects painting is moisture and humidity and in the south we have a lot of humidity so it's important to I'll use the primer, pill bond primer, and seal the wood, and then wrap it, and I put the wire hanger on the inside, inside of the, the stretcher board here, so it don't stick out. It's easy to stack them. Easy to stack them like this. And it doesn't has a le less chance of poking the canvas and ripping it. Uh, what else? That's about it. If you're gonna oh, so if you're gonna use acrylic, I would highly recommend that you use bottled water. Any, I have uh, bottled water because of the minerals or that are in the tap water. I use bottled water only for for the thinner. This is kind of act like thinner. Another thing if I'm doing a lot of the paintings, these are the paintings that are from commercial canvases, which are quite thin, but they're still very useful, they're still valuable, they're still meaningful. But what you can do is, 
roll these up. These are, this is about 10, I don't know, six or seven paintings that would normally take up a lot of room. You, I can wrap these up. If you do, wrap them outside. Wrap them so that the outside is wrapped up that way. All right, and I think that's pretty good. That's about it for today. So, thank you. Um, I feel good. I've got a lot of work to do. Uh, I love to stay busy. Um, I'm working on several commissions right now at the same time. If you're interested in a commission, um, Buildings and homes aren't the only thing I do. I'm do also doing portrait commissions in in my style, and uh, that's going really good. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, I'll answer them after the video. So thank you for watching, and that's it for today.